welcome back to my channel. Today is Friday and you know what that means. It is menu plan and grocery haul day. The menu plan for this week looks like a pretty good one to me. Um, I am recycling a few things from last week that we didn't get to make and trying a couple new things. And also, um, back in the fall, Kim over to Girl on Her Phone made pound droppers, pumpkin spice, I think it was called French toast casserole. And it was very good and I made it and I liked it. And then I decided about a month or so ago, I guess, maybe not that long, to do it again, but not make it pumpkin spice. I wanted to do a chai spice. So I made a chai spice French toast casserole. So then it was back in Kim's corner. We're having a little game with this and having a lot of fun. She decided last week to make apple pie French toast casserole and it was fantastic. I didn't make the whole casserole. I ended up making it um, like French toast in a mug apple pie. Like I kind of used her recipe, but just made it individual. It was really good. So then this week I'm like, I'm going to continue our game and I'm going to make a very, very French toast casserole. So we're having a lot of fun with this. We'll see if we keep it going. I don't know if we're going to keep coming up with different things to turn into a French toast casserole. I, um, I don't know. There's a lot of flavors out there, but not all of them will make a good French toast casserole. So this week I'm doing the very, very. So Kim, tag, you're it. You need to come up with something in the next couple of weeks to change it up again. So it doesn't have to be next week. It can be a couple of weeks. We don't need it every week, but we're having a good time doing it. And that's what it's all about. You know, it's, it's a journey. It's a tough journey. But if you can find stuff to make it fun and make it new and make it different, then that's what it's all about. So I will stop talking. I will turn you around. Let's get started on this menu. Okay, so right into the menu. As you will see, this is yet a another different menu planner. I'm having a ball creating all these and I'm still trying to make the perfect one. I don't know if this is it, but Denise over at Dish with D sent me a picture of one that she saw that she wants me to recreate with a few tweaks. So I'm gonna work on that this weekend and maybe that is the perfect one, we will see. But as always, all of my menu planners are available absolutely free on my website jonespointatplate.com under free printables. So go over there and print out whatever you want. So let's get started. Sunday, we're gonna have a breakfast bubble up. I was supposed to make that this week and never got around to it. And Andrew really wants to have it before he goes back to school. So I thought that would make a great Sunday morning breakfast for the family. Lunch, turkey wraps, poppables and fruit. And dinner is going to be fish and shrimp tacos and Mexican cauliflower rice. We were supposed to have that tonight, but we're ending up going out to dinner after we go to Adam's girlfriend's house for formal picture, uh, semi-formal pictures. We're just gonna go out somewhere with Andrew, kind of the last hurrah before he goes back to school, spend some one-on-one -on -one time with him. So that's why that got moved to Sunday. Not that you really care, but you know I ramble. Monday, breakfast sandwich for breakfast, picky plate for lunch, and salmon for dinner and Adam requested that I do it with the dill sauce so that's what we'll do Tuesday eggs hash browns and sausage salad for lunch and I'm going to be the only one home on Tuesday night so I'm going to pull the leftover porkette out of the freezer that was from New Year's and enjoy a nice sandwich and I will probably have a bag of chips with that Wednesday is that French toast I talked about uh, the very, very French toast casserole. We're going to have that. We're going to have vegetable soup for lunch. I'm going to pull that out of the freezer. That's still in the freezer. It has been so handy having that in the freezer. And dinner is going to be a new recipe. Creamy chicken pasta with bacon. If you do the points for this, I use the Ronzoni 150 pasta that is lower in points. It's four points for two ounces. The purple points are so low because I put in the whole wheat pasta. And on purple, whole wheat pasta is zero points. So yes, that looks a little high, but this is your complete dinner. Everything's in there. Veggies are in there, protein's in there, pasta's in there. So 
I don't, and it looks so good. So I'm excited to try that. I hope it's as good as it looks. Thursday, we're gonna have the very berry French toast again. I'm gonna have some egg salad on a bagel for lunch with fruit and poppables. And dinner is going to be Big Mac Sloppy Joes. I haven't made those in a while. And I'm not sure, I put two points for a bun if I get the 647 buns. I'll have to see what my day brings. And if I have points, I might use a nice sesame seed bun that are four points. We'll see. And we're just gonna serve fries with that. Friday, trying to keep it low because we're going out to dinner. An omelet and sausage for breakfast, vegetable soup for lunch, and then we have Adam's sen Senior Swim Meat on Friday night. And it's early, it's at like 4.30, so after that, we're all gonna go out to dinner. Saturday, definitely a breakfast burrito for breakfast. And then lunch and dinner will be packed because we have a invitational swim meet to go to and Adam's um, session is not till the afternoon. So I definitely wanna pack something. I'm not sure what I'm gonna pack yet. It depends on when, what time his meet, um, his events are. Cause if it's early in the afternoon, I'll just pack lunch and come home and put some kind of dinner together. But if it's later, which I believe it's not till four o'clock, then we'll have some sort of light lunch at home and then pack like a, some kind of lunchy type dinner. Not sure yet, up in the air, but I have a plan. And then as always, same exercise, running and HIIT training. And then for snacks this week, I think I'm gonna make some of the banana oatmeal muffins, but I think I only have one banana in the freezer, so that may have to change, I'm not sure. But I will figure that out. So this is the menu for the week. As always, all the recipes will be up on my website by the weekend, and that's all. Okay, let's get into this grocery haul because it's crazy. I went to Walmart Grocery Pickup, BJ's, Aldi, Acme, and ShopRite. Yeah, I know it's crazy, but there were certain sales at each store that I just wanted to take advantage of, and I had the time, so it was good. Um, Acme was having their buck a bag sale this week, and that's always a really good deal on their produce, so yeah, so let's get started on that haul. Okay, we'll start with Walmart. I got a bunch of cilantro for our shrimp and fish tacos, a lime for the same thing. I wanted two limes, but I guess I only put one in, so I'll have to pick up another one tomorrow. I got a box of Cliff Bars. These are for Andrew to take back to school with him. He likes to keep them in his practice bag. I got a bottle of Kraft Thousand Island. That is for the Big Mac Sloppy Joes. Can of crushed pineapple to have on hand in case I want to make the pineapple upside down cake pancake muffins again. A tube of tomato paste. I am in love with these tubes. They are fantastic. Can of Rotel just to have on the shelf because I think I'm out. Um, pack of ground beef for the Big Mac Sloppy Joes. A box of Cinnamon Toast Crunch Treats. These are, again, for Andrew to take back to school. These are four points each. So it's actually a really good sweet treat for only four points. They're a decent sized bar and they're very sweet. So it definitely satisfies the sweet tooth. Some graham crackers that I forgot to scan before I started filming. It's so funny. The first time I bought these, um, Adam was eating them and didn't see the box. And he told me they were the best graham crackers he's ever eaten. Yeah, Walmart brand, 88 cents, best he's ever eaten. Works for me. I got a loaf of the 647 Italian bread. I love this bread. One point per slice. Five dozen eggs. Five pound bag of rice because we go through a lot of rice. Although with Andrew going back to school, we won't be as much. Uh, Greek yogurt. I have some two ingredient dough projects coming up. A half gallon of 1% milk. It's what we like to drink. A container of Fairlife. I always keep one in the fridge to make yogurt. And then the Great Value Shredded Hash Browns I really like. They are 65 or no, I'm sorry, 85 grams for two 
points on blue and green and zero points on purple. So there you have it. My little Walmart run. There were no substitutions, but they were out of Ortega taco sauce and they didn't substitute. And they were out of cottage cheese and they didn't substitute. So I will pick that stuff up later in the week. Now remember, I have a family, so not all of this is WW friendly because they all don't eat WW friendly. Um, I do have two packs of the Baby Bell Light Cheeses. These are so delicious and they are one point. A pack of mini cucumbers for snacking and salads. A double pack of Canadian bacon, three slices for, or four slices for one point. It's the Roses brand. A container of celery, a sleeve of celery. A pack of the Joseph's Lavash bread to make homemade crackers. One sheet of this is two points. And you can get about anywhere between 32 and 40 crackers. I just throw them in the air fryer. You can also bake them in the oven. They are delicious. It's a lot of crackers for two points. I got a big bag of coleslaw. I saw a recipe, someone, friend of mine sent it to me for a cilantro slaw for uh, fish tacos. And I thought maybe I'd make that for tomorrow night. And it's always nice to have for egg rolls and egg roll in a bowl. A huge thing of organic spring mix. A rotisserie chicken because they make them really good at BJ's. And then for Adam for lunches, a pack of honey bun and a pack of fudge rounds. And also Adam wanted corn dogs. Pringles for his lunches. And then two boxes of the Lay's chips assorted for his lunches. That will take us to the end of his senior year with all these chips for lunches. So that's a good thing. And then just a huge pack of napkins. So that is my BJ's haul. Now on to Aldi. And here is a little ShopRite haul. Two limes because I messed up the Walmart and only ordered one. The Cabot 75 cheese. You know how much I like this to put in casseroles and to melt on things. It is normally $3.99. It is on sale this week for $1.88. The limit's four. I got four. My favorite pasta, the Ronzoni 150. It is four points for two ounces dry. So it's a really good deal. And it was on sale this week for 59 cents. So I got the limit, which was four. Some tissues, the Scotty's tissues were on sale for 88 cents. So I picked up limit four of the long boxes and limit four of the little square boxes that fit in my holder. So that was my little ShopRite haul. It was $16.50 okay, total. Moving on to Acme. Like I said, they were having their buck a bag sale. So I got this. I love these little steamable potatoes. They are fabulous. It's one pound in there. So it is perfect for the three of us when Andrew's back to school. They are a dollar each. Cannot beat it. I got three of the gold and two of the red. Then a bag of baby carrots. A two pound bag of navel oranges for a dollar, a head of lettuce for a dollar, two things of mushrooms for a dollar each, two things of grape tomatoes for a dollar each, bag of spinach I need for a recipe this week for a dollar, and then the bananas were 49 cents a pound. I normally get the organic bananas at Aldi, and they were as green as Oscar the Grouch. So we got the ones at the regular bananas at Acme instead. So that was the buck a bag produce sale. And then they had, <laughs> this is Adam's little haul. They had Hot Pockets on sale for 88 cents a box and you had to get five boxes. I like to keep those in the freezer because on nights when he goes, comes home from swim, jumps in the shower and then flies out the door to get to play practice, they are perfect for, you know, a quick bite. So we keep those in the freezer for him and he loves the Turkey Hill sweet tea. So we picked up two of those cause they were on sale for 99 cents. So not bad. My entire Acme haul was $21 and 65 cents. A little Aldi haul for produce. We have blueberries and strawberries and lemons and mangoes, cuties and these autumn glory apples. 
I've never tasted them because of my apple allergy, but the guys love them. They have a hint of cinnamon and caramel flavor in them, and they said they are fantastic. I bet they would be really good to make the uh, crock pot apples that I make. Hmm, I might have to go get another bag of those while they're on sale. So that's it for produce at Aldi. And then I just picked up some center cut bacon and tortilla chips for Andrew to take back to college with him. And what's missing here is a case of water that we just left in Andrew's car. because he'll be taking that back to school too. And my Aldi total was $23.45. My menu plan for the week and my five store grocery haul. That was crazy. I never do things like that, but it just happened to work out this week. Um, BJ's was $110. Uh, Walmart was $55. And then ShopRite was $21.65. Aldi was $23.45. And uh, what was, oh no, I'm sorry. ShopRite was, I'm looking at the receipts. ShopRite was $16.92 and Acme was $21.65. I think I got a lot of stuff for, I don't know, what was that about $200, maybe a little bit over. So there was a lot of stuff we needed this week and I'm glad I stocked up. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed my menu for the week. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what's on your menu this week. I'm always looking for new recipes. And that's it. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And that's it. I am out. I will catch you one day this weekend for a full day of eating. Have a fantastic weekend, everyone.